heavy dark chocolate flavoured coffee uh, that works quite well as espresso and I think it's uh, going to show off the AeroPress's capabilities quite well. And the beauty of that is you can go anywhere with it, so you can go to anything, you can go overseas, seriously, if I go anywhere I take it. Yeah, it's okay, for this one we're also going to allow it to brew a lot longer in the AeroPress, we're going to brew it for a full 90 seconds. So I'm going to add the remainder of the water up to 215 grams. So as you can see, the volume of the water is much higher with this one, and so is the grams of coffee, but it's all about working out the perfect ratio for you. I wrap it around the outside, making sure I get everything up to 150 grams on my scale. And we'll give it a go. We'll try two bucks in the game. And a firm count. Nice and firm. Down. Yep. And knocks around. And see how it runs. That way we know the next time how long we need to extract it. So with milk, there's always a little spat in here. So you kind of want to fill your up just under that spout. You're doing five collapses with that. So just do five collapses yeah. in a nice firm pan. And you want to put two cups on it. Eat and let you win. And we just let it sit there. So give it a bit of a swirl, last bit of a swirl. And then try and really 
like angry jokes can very firm on my okay. Once his espresso is all one, go to stand in the front of lean up a bit of an angle. Not to try and put your thick texture milk in, then you go high up and then come back down to put your thick texture milk in to go through all your plate. Take it in the water. You handle the slice of your hand, when it's hot enough, you turn it on. 